And this is how you can download YouTube videos using your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So to start you're going to go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to this rapid API API uh, and once you're here you're going to see this button here. For you it's going to look like this. It's going to say subscribe to test. All you have to do is click that subscribe to test button and then it's going to give you a free option uh, and then you can just click subscribe to that and then as you can see here, it's going to subscribe to that. So after you're done with that, it's going to give you this button that says test endpoint. And once you have that, it means that you're good to go with the code. The other thing that you're going to go in and do is in this code snippets here, you're going to see the X rapid API key. I'm going to blur this out, obviously, so you can't see my API key, but you're going to want to go ahead and copy that so that we can use it later. All right, so now we can go over to our code and we're going to go to community and we can go in and create ytmp4.js. And you're gonna get our command builder. So we can do slash command builder. We can get our embed builder. And we can get our button builder. We can get our action row builder. We're also gonna go ahead and get our button style. And then we can set that equal to require and discord.js. Then we can do const axios equals require. And we're gonna go ahead and get that package. Make sure you install that in your terminal. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. Then we can do module.export. So we can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna go ahead and get data, which is going to be new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name. This is going to be ytmp4. And we can go ahead and say a description we can go ahead and say download YouTube videos then after doing that we can go ahead and add a string option and we're gonna go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name for me this is going to be video ID and I'm gonna go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say the YouTube video ID to download and then we can go ahead and set required we're gonna go ahead and make that true so then after doing that we can add a comma we're gonna do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up. So then in here, we're going to go ahead and do interaction .defer reply, and we can go ahead and set informal to true. Then we can go ahead and do const. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We can get our options and we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction. Then we can do const vid ID equals options that get string. This is going to be our video ID. So now we can do const input equals. We're going to go ahead and open up an object. We're going to get method, which is going to be a git. And we can get URL. This is going to be the API URL that we're going to be using for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that URL in there. Just go ahead and copy this down exactly. You can also get this from the API uh, that you subscribe to in the beginning. After doing that, you can put in your parameters. And we can go ahead and get our ID, which is going to be our vid ID variable. Then we can get our headers and we can go ahead and open up another object in here and we can say X and we're going to get our rapid API and then we can do key. We can do a colon and this is where you're going to put that API key that you got from the API uh, when you subscribe to it. So just put that in. I'm going to put it in at the end so I don't have to blur any of this code out. Then we can do a comma. We're going to do our X and we can do rapid API and then we can do our host and i'm going to do another colon in here we're going to go ahead and put in the api that we're using for this so just go ahead and copy this link in there as well again you can get that from the api in the description below so then after doing that we can add a colon here and we can go ahead and try we're going to go ahead and do const output equals await axios our request and we're going to go ahead and get our inputs so we're going to get the output from our input we can do const link equals and we can go ahead and do output .data link and we're going to go ahead and get 22 because that is the highest quality and it's actually going to be a video and not an mp4 and we can do const button equals new and we can go ahead and get our action row builder we're going to go ahead and add components and we can do new button builder and then we can go ahead and set a label i'm going to go ahead and open this up I'm going to go ahead and get that mailbox emoji and we can go ahead and say download mp4. Now this is very, very similar to the mp3 video we made, um, but this is actually going to download the video, obviously. So now we can go ahead and set a style and we're going to go in and do button style and we can go ahead and set that to our link. Then we can go ahead and set our URL. That is going to be our link and we can go in and put a zero in there as well. So then after doing that, so we can come down here. We're going to go ahead and
ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. For me, this is going to be blurple. And we're going to go ahead and say a description. I'm going to go ahead and open up an emoji. We'll get the video camera one. And we can go ahead and say download the MP4 version of. And we can do backslash tick. We do output.data.title. We do backslash tick again. And we can say below. And then we can actually go ahead and send this. We can do await interaction.edit reply. And we can go ahead and get our embeds. That is going to be our embed. And we're also going to get our components. And that is going to be our button component. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and make our error catch. So we can do catch error and open this up. We can go ahead and do await interaction.edit to reply. And we can go ahead and say content. I'm going to go ahead and get a, an emoji here. Then we can say that video ID is not valid. Go to the URL and copy the ID at the end of the link. One other thing here is one of the best practices for writing code is in the error, you're going to go ahead and console.log your error so that just in case you do have an error with your code, you're actually going to be able to see that error uh, and not wonder why it's not working. So just make sure you include that when you're first writing this code out and testing it. You can obviously remove this later once you know the code works, but it's just good to have in there. So after doing that, we are actually done. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. I'm going to do YTMP4, and we're going to go ahead and get the video ID. All right, so I'm going to go over to my channel, and we can go ahead and open up a video. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that channel ID at the top, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. So we can go ahead and download that. Now we're going to go ahead and click on this link, and we can go ahead and open it up. It's going to say download ready, so we can go ahead and click on it. Now, sometimes it might not work. Just go ahead and click that button a couple of times and it's going to bring it open here. So we can actually go ahead and click on save. And now if we go over to our downloads, we can actually go ahead and open this up here. This is how you can take screenshots of web. And as you can see, we have the entire MP4 of the video from my channel. Um, and it has all the audio and everything. So that's how it works. Now keep in mind, downloading videos is allowed, I believe, if you just use it for your own use. So you download it and you watch it on your own. But if you were to re-upload these videos or try to monetize them, then that's not allowed. So just don't do that at all. So that's you can make an advanced YouTube MP4 or YouTube video downloader command. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. But please use our help channels. Do not use general chat or any other channels within the server. Only use our help channels uh, and we'll be able to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.